Chuck Norris's like chest was Rips so fucking, fucking hairy. hairy. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> and then he goes, Weird. he goes. <laughs> I wonder if that was like. If- Welcome to another episode of Nerd Social Hour in Texas, where we like to geek out on all things pop culture. Today, we're going to be talking about my favorite movie, Cats and Dogs. Oh, oh my. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Cats and Dogs. Wrong yeah. Today, <laughs> we're talking about Kung Fu. Perkins' beefy-headed ass is probably going to talk for way too long, and that's okay. But, of course, I can't do it here alone. I'm with my friends. This is Perkins. It's your boy, Danny. I'm Alex. I'm Crystal. What's up, y'all? Comic Guy Fabes. Let's get it. This is actually... Ooh, a God, see, I told you he was going to do something that was just completely unnecessary. <laughs> Can I tell you, though, that you threw cats and dogs like you couldn't talk about it for Kung Fu, but you actually really can. <gasps> Whoa, what? Really? They do have a weird they, Kung they, Fu they, sequence they in this do. movie. Like, they fight a lot. <laughs> There's a bunch of, like, weird-ass cats, like, karate. Underrated. <laughs> like, okay, is it like a bulldog fight or a big old dog to fight somebody? I don't know. I didn't actually NWX. expect cats and dogs to I turn into realize a I thought that, that was, was like, your secret on. movie. That was my secret yeah. movie. <laughs> it's like no one's gonna be able to talk about this. It's not relevant. <laughs> I'm boxing that bitch. I ruined it. You're welcome. God, dang, what did you do? Well, you know, cats and dogs, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> is it say. cat foo? Cat foo. Cat foo. Dog foo. <laughs> I've heard of cat foo. Hong Kong fooey. Full circle. Yeah, we're, back. we're, we're doing great. So yes. <laughs> this was uh, one of my favorite things to study for because who doesn't like watching people beat each other up for me. hours on end and it's be able me. to have an excuse to do it? All my bullies. <laughs> but sure, yeah, go yeah, on. Yeah, well, Let's do it. Most people do, I who, guess. Who doesn't that isn't Alex or Crystal? <laughs> You guys are really ruining my flow right I'm now. I'm sorry, you're doing We like to watch people get beat up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I Hurt can appreciate no reason. the merciless. I- do it Same. again. Perkins has been trying to learn how to beat people up recently. Yeah, yeah. How's that going? Yeah, it tells about I've been it. punched a lot, but you know, <laughs> really? that's what I've learned. Getting punched in the stomach doesn't feel very good, but. What yeah. exactly are you doing? Like, what are you learning? Boxing. Straight Gun like food. actual Ooh. boxing. Wow. Yeah. Because I did, I did want to try Muay Thai. And then when I went there, I realized, hey, I have no fucking clue what's going on as they're kicking each other in the fucking face. <laughs> like that. I was like, maybe I should start with the fundamentals of actually punching somebody. So that's where I'm at right now. And so you're gonna nice. slowly so before graduate. you fight, you're going to be like, I know 12 different ways of destroying <laughs> your face. It's very Matrix of you. I still get <laughs> fucking knocked the fuck out. Speaking of which... Low key, Matrix is a kung fu movie. No, I feel like it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. We were kind of talking it. about like gun fu and stuff like that. Yeah. I feel like Keanu Reeves has like cornered this market when it comes to like action with weapons. And yeah. Kung uh, like uh, Matrix, John Wick, like he, he's pretty. I lost my train of thought. I feel like guys. the only way you can argue home. that did is you just if say you break Con- down. Keanu Reeves is pretty? Yeah, he's very pretty. He is pretty. <laughs> he pretty is man. pretty. I was like, who's arguing? Oh my pretty God. fucking <laughs> awesome. Keanu Reeves. I saw a video of him talking about his wife the other day. And he was so smitten. I was like, oh, my God. I, th- I, never- I think he's just his girlfriend. Oh, well, his partner. Skirt. Yeah. <laughs> his partner. And he was like so fucking in love with her. And I was like, <laughs> Keanu Reeves. <laughs> so precious. I had that same kind of moment when I was You're even Stan better Lee. than I thought you were. <laughs> Stan Lee was talking about his wife. And it was one of those like you could yes. tell he was like so in love. That's so cool. Yeah. Someone was like, when was the last time you felt like just pure joy or like peace or something like that? And he was like, oh, me and my lady or whatever. We were like just laying down and just talking and laughing. And I was like. But when he said it, was he was he like, but me and my lady, (laughs) (laughs) we were just laying down. This is movie voice. He doesn't use that. And then (laughs) some ninjas came flying in. I'd be so mad if he like walks off set and you go. Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Keanu Reeves is a lie. But no, it's uh, that scene in The Matrix when he's first learning how to fight. No. He literally goes, I know Kung Fu. Oh, yep. yeah. And I was like, holy shit. Oh, my God. That yeah. just brought back Down so many it. memories of like my childhood. Me and my brother like fighting and being like, I know Kung Fu. <laughs> <laughs> Even that move, that move like. That. Yes. That's very, very Kung Classic. Fu movie. Like. Yep. This is gonna gonna be kind of crazy to say, but I actually never watched a Bruce Lee movie <gasps> until I like this moment. I've seen wow. clips of him. Really, it's kind of surprising. I've seen <laughs> clips of like <laughs> clips of his movies, but I never watched a full Bruce Lee movie. And I watched a few, and they were so fucking good. Like they're from the seventies. 
but they are still so good. Did you get to see him fight Chuck Norris? I did. I had to see him fight Chuck Hell Norris. Oh yeah. Chuck Norris's like chest was Rips so fucking hairy. Fucking hair yeah, he's like, <laughs> and then he goes, Weird. he goes. <laughs> I wonder if that was like improv. I was like, oh fuck, I got Chuck <laughs> That was probably real. Chuck pulled a whole real chunk out. They were so, so dramatic in that fight, too. Like, it, yeah. was, it was so intense. It was great. And I, then he grabs a chest here. I feel like growing up, like, I want to get into y'all's stories, too, but especially like growing up, my grandpa was obsessed with like kung fu movies. Yeah. We'd always have some Bruce Lee. Uh, Enter the Dragon, always playing something, Chinese telephone connection, game playing in the background. Yeah, Game of Death. death. And then we would have like Five Deadly Venoms, but we had all these kung fu movies playing. And then, uh, you know, that passed down to my dad and to me. So we all share the uh, middle name Lee. So that's your middle like name Lee? Yes. What? <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, so, because of Bruce Lee? Yeah, because of Bruce Lee. Oh, that's so lit. <laughs> that's what? What I mean. Biggest letdown. Yeah. <laughs> the 70s were, like, super popular for kung fu. Like, you had even movies where it was, like, culturally, like, Wu-Tang was talking about it in one of their things yes. where it was, like, it's kung fu. Like, it's been yeah. kung fu. Like, uh, Dolomite, Black Dynamite. Yeah, Black Dynamite, Probably bro. some of the biggest, like, kung fu respecters yeah. out there. Like, shout that's out Wu-Tang. Wu Tang. What about uh? What was that movie? Because you were talking about what was it? Hidden. What was it? Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, or yeah. which oh, way yeah. is it saying? Oh yeah, that was one of the first like martial arts type movies I yeah. saw where they choreographed it to look like they were fucking dancing. You and know fighting. what? And it's beautiful. It's awesome. Awesome. That's yes. one of the first ones and I ever saw. There's it's such really an pretty. art to it. it, and even in the cheesy ones, and like you know, you can kind of tell what they were going for. One of my favorites personally is The Last Dragon. You know, Bruce Leroy. If you guys have oh, God, that. you got that glow. Uh, the glow, baby. Who's the baddest? <laughs> well, fucking Kung Fu. <laughs> yeah, Kung Fu Hustle. <laughs> Kung Fu Hustle yeah. was like, they took, it was almost like a, um, it wasn't a musical. They were like doing some off the wall showman yeah. shit for it. Like when he jumps into the clouds and launches a fucking handprint. Man. And smashes the shit out of the toad frog fighter guy. Shaolin Soccer. Dude. Yeah, Dude, we were just talking so about shell and soccer. Huh? <laughs> Kung fu sports, man. It was so weird because I feel like they even broke it down into like different genres. And it's again, you had like serious Kung Fu or, you know, funny Kung Fu. And the, the older movies, they're, they're kind of cheesy and sometimes a little hard to watch. But if you can get through so, the story. But I appreciate hell. the comedy in it because I, I wasn't able to do much homework. But Danny was showing me clips from what he was watching. Yeah. And it's like actually pretty funny. But like. On but purpose, intentional, like intentionally, intentionally funny. funny. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't just that ironic, cringe like, funny. Yeah, which one was it? Were it was, you watching? Where oh it was man, like it a was gang fight. They're like taking over the. I don't remember which Bruce Lee restaurant. Movie was. Like they were trying to. Um, the mobs were trying to scare the restaurant people into selling, selling the their restaurant. restaurant. I don't remember which one it was. Oh, I don't know what it's uh, called, but basically, like the. Restaurant worker who like was that actually might be the one where he fights uh, Chuck Norris. That is the one. That is the one he fights Chuck Norris. Oh, that's way of the dragon. Yeah, the guy who was gonna fight like from the restaurant was gonna fight like the gangsters who were trying to like beat their asses. And he was like, "Here I go, I'm going." And then he got his ass whipped. Like (laughs) he just got yeah. It was was just like it was like one hit, and he was like. (laughs) And then then (laughs) another guy stepped forward, and Bruce Lee was like, "Calm down." (laughs) And then he like like he said, "Hold up, I'm the go." I got this. Yeah. And he just bah, just knocked that dude, like, returned the favor, knocked yeah. him out in, like, a hit. It was funny. So, like, aside from uh, beating the shit out of your siblings and stuff, like, <laughs> what got y'all into Kung Fu? Like, the movies? Dragon was... Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z? I didn't even know about martial arts until I saw Dragon Ball Z. I saw It Man was something I saw, but I had to rewatch it. Because mm-hmm. when I did see it, I was younger. But then Classic. I'm trying to remember. There was, like, hit, uh, there was one with Jet Li. The one. The, the one? one? I was going to bring up one. the one. Okay. Right. The one. Was kiss the dragon. That fucking was it sounds kiss dragon? Dragon? Must die. Was it Kiss of the Dragon? Was Kiss of the Dragon was where he was trying to save the prostitute. Cradle to the grave. No, Cradle to the grave, bitch. Cradle to the grave. No, but Cradle to the grave was a good one. Which one was Romeo Must Die? I thought there was Kiss of the Dragon. Romeo Must Die was with Aaliyah, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so Kiss of the Dragon is where they had that thing and he put it in the... That's Red Dragon. That's where he used the needles. Like so the that's not Kiss of the Dragon? Dragon? No. I got what? you. Look yeah, Kiss because, of the Dragon and Red Dragon. Because he was saving the prostitute. Yeah. I thought that was Kiss of the Dragon. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. I think I'm convinced. No. All these movies got the name Dragon in it, damn it. <laughs> Perkins Dragons right. Kiss of the Dragon. Kiss of the Dragon. Okay. That's, if I t- I, that's the one, but yeah. There were Dragon Ball Z, but then I remember seeing that movie, and I was like, Man. dude, Jet Li is a 
fucking badass. Jet Li is a that badass. Part. He was going the fuck off. All of us had to be like raised on the what was it, the Jackie Chan show? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Like, oh, actually, yeah, Rush yeah. Hour. It's yeah. always I was gonna yeah. 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 I'm about to Rush date hour. the shit out of myself. I was before all of that. He like, said, did you ever watch uh, uh, American like, Dragon? Yeah, American Dragon like, was great. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong, they all came out. I was already yeah. a little older. Like, I was indoctrinated into the kung fu. Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers, man. Like, if that didn't make you want to beat somebody up. Old Ru- okay, How Russian guy that beat people's ass. It was an older movie, bro. And I can't think he kicked the shit out of people all the time. That was his thing. He was eating in a country ass restaurant. He wasn't gonna pay. You gotta pay, boy. Da, 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 da. He was like, <laughs> I have no money. And these <laughs> people had no right dialogues. trying to fight him. He ends up kicking him through a window. Yeah. Fuck. I it's this dude that's famous for kicking. Giant oh, oh photo. Van Damme. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say Van Damme. Oh, it's about like blood yeah. sport. Yeah. Like, like, blood sport. Yeah. Yeah. That that shit I remember. I was like, why can't I remember? It's been so fucking long. Oh, yeah, he was Y'all remember friend. those? Yeah. yeah. He was just eating. <laughs> yeah. And he should have like kicked a man. He could have just been like, I don't have money and I'm sorry. No, that, but he that's not how you handle Wait. things in the real world. You kick people through fucking windows. <laughs> was Steven Seagal? Steven Seagal. I, was about to say, yeah. oh, I was about to bring up Steven I knew Seagal. This you was talking where about this like was going, going to your grandparents and shit like Steven Seagal. He's fucking Steven Seagal. Oh, God. Oh, that God. guy. He, he was he's like, an he's, asshole, right? Yeah, yeah. he's like a weird that. fucking dude. There's like a there's a clip I just watched. Maybe I could find it, but it's the funniest shit. It's one one of his most recent movies. Like he's like some covert black ops guy, of okay, course. <laughs> of course, like Everyone? Steven Seagal yeah, always gives movie. himself that role. But there's a body double. Like he's taking out these dudes. He's sniping them right, and then uh, he's coming down. Like it's all like shitty CGI too. <laughs> I gotta find this clip for y'all. But like the body double is so much skinnier and like so much. Fit. <laughs> no, that, that was actually Steven Seagal. You just didn't realize it. Yeah, you could tell, like, he's walking up to these people. He's, like, snapping their necks and shit. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Coming to these movies. Okay, so when it comes to these movies, you have a lot of people that are just doing the acting. But then you have people that do know how to actually fight. Yeah. Like, what was the guy? Jo- Tony Jenny- Jaa? Kai Jai no, Michael Jai White. Michael Jai White. That oh, motherfucker, when I found oh, out he, man. Knew, he really knew that shit, Spawn. it Dude. blew my yes. fucking mind. Blood like, and Bone, if you haven't seen yeah, that one, such a good movie. Man. Y'all see when he fought Kai, uh, Kai, who was the big ass dude, you, Kimbo Slice? Yes. He was like, oh, okay. he tried to my hand. So we're thinking like, of the same that, thing, that's the, the same beginning video. Of, that's the man, beginning of that. Blood and Bone is when he fights Kimbo Slice. But no, there's a real, there's an actual recording where he's like, I want you to try to hit my hand. Yeah. And he's doing it. And he was like, now I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna hit or I'm gonna counter or some shit. And he does it slowly. And then he tricks him and hits the other hand and kind of like, what the fuck just happened? Dude, and yeah. he played him. So a lot of people, I remember earlier um in the year, like reading about him, like a lot of people actually like test him just to make sure like he's legit. And every single keep, time keep he like keeping gung fu to a guy that actually knows it. That's like every time he does. Well, that's kind of like um, IP man. Whenever they or it man. Uh, I was, <laughs> every like, time. Yeah, every time. Man. Yeah, um, IPA man. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it man. Whenever uh, you don't mess with this guy. When, I got your IP <laughs> with uh, Bruce Lee. Like when uh, I think it was the third movie where he comes to America because he's trying to look for a school for his kid, and uh, I think this is slightly based on something true, but. The kung fu community was kind of pissed at Bruce Lee for ch- teaching Americans yep. uh, their style of fighting. Like so, in I real mean, life, or yeah, in real life, life. in real life. I mean, it, they showed it in the movie too, yeah. but like okay. um, in real life. So I wonder if how legitimate that is to like the rest of the kung fu community. That's why they always test them. Like I, you're not a real kung fu I fighter. I assume it is though, because I feel like there's like a lot of like. Even if you try to, like, go sign up to do, like, a karate class or anything. Yeah. Like, they even start off with, like, this isn't, like, to teach you, like, how to fight and, like, how, you know, basically how to beat somebody else's ass. It's all about, like, self-defense balance and, and self-defense and just, like, centering yourself. And, like, it's it's less, like, there's more of an art to it than it is just to teach you how to fight. So yeah. I would assume that they're, like, kid. super, like, into it. <laughs> Which karate <Basically>. kid? <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like the new one, the uh, new Cobra one. Kai. Cobra Kai is great. Oh, it's Cobra good, Kai. but that one comes off to me almost like the fake shit. Like, it doesn't I look mean, as yeah. real. It looks yeah. cool. Don't get it twisted, but I'm always thinking, like, would you really get your ass kicked in real life, though? Just because it's a weird high school It's because it's, like, super teen setting. Like, yeah. like they make it. I like it, like though, a lot. Yeah. I watch all of it. Don't get it twisted. I love the shit out of it. Next season, I can't wait. But that one, like, I always like when they have kind of a realistic take on it. Like, when someone's getting their shit broke, or you get machine gun punched, like, IP, man. 
<laughs> you ain't getting up from that. I, I don't want to see something get kicked through a fucking window and get up. I want to see you. If you get hit in the face, they do you're have feeling it, bro. quite a few people, bro. though, like in that show, though, that fucking like they get fucked up. Like was that one dude like falls over a balcony or yeah. something because he gets kicked yeah. and he like screws his whole back up and yeah. everything. Like that was so nah, some of it. Like it's still like <laughs> it was CW good though. No, but it was yeah, good. I was like, it still has like CW vibes, like you said. But I mean, they still they fuck got, up people in that show. I want to so. go back to Alex. You said Scary Movie Three, and yeah. I'm struggling <laughs> to understand. <laughs> this. What? Explain yourself. Is I, Scary Movie Three the one they make fun of the ring? Um, that's one or two. Or is it, no, I will the listen. ring doesn't come sorry, until sorry. at least the third one. It's I, it's either Scary. Scary Movie 2 or Scary Movie 3 where they recreate the haunting where they like go to the house. That's like, 2. 2. Okay, 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 okay. 2. Are we two? talking about the yes. Charlie's Angels scene? Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, good. she's like, I'm... mad cow. <laughs> He's like, Moo, motherfucker. This whole time we were talking, like, I had to get back to Alex and ask about Scary Movie. Like, you guys were having like actual conversations of the substance and I'm over here like what movies have I seen <laughs> that have kung fu in them <laughs> scary movie that's the last movie that you should mention you should have been like kung fu panda or something like before <laughs> scary movie speaking of we kung don't fu have panda. to <laughs> crystal go on I think this is a perfect no, I do love kung, kung fu panda, panda though it's so, so much good. fun I love Jack Black so I mean yeah, I love yeah. basically yeah. anything so he does like I'm, I'm here for so the, I'd be so sad if he was the awful person we always say the duck dad is like Charlie, our dog, looks yeah. like the duck dad. The faces. Weird faces. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird, but I, I, I can we'll have to vibe. edit a picture. Yeah, I'll, see if, I can, yeah, I'll yeah. see if I can find <laughs> the two pictures. Yeah. She also, she looks like a mix between the duck dad and um, the lizard from that um, acid YouTube Not my chin, not my yeah, problem. Not my chin, yeah. not my problem. <laughs> yeah. I think um, for me, like growing up, a lot of mine was... Jackie Chan like I've seen yeah. like yeah. I've seen a lot of these other movies and I know about a lot of other actors and like like you said like watching like Ip Man and watching like Bruce Lee movies and stuff like that but in like Jet Li but Jackie Chan, Jackie Chan. <laughs> I watched a lot of Jackie Chan movies oh, Jackie yeah. Chan so like Shanghai cool Nights dude. did you guys yeah. watch Shanghai Nights or Shanghai I don't want to fight you that's with uh, Owen, Owen Wilson. Wilson. Yeah. yeah. Like, yep. I fucking love those movies. They're so stupid, but they're so much fun. So, I was Jackie like, Chan's that's so funny. List. I think I also like remember watching Jackie Chan movies. And again, yeah. I've never really been like huge into action movies at all, period. Um, but like in the background watching it. And I think those movies were really popular because they're more like Americanized versions. Yeah, yeah, like, it, was, yeah. yeah. it was pair Jackie Chan who know, co- knows Kung Fu with a token American guy. Yeah. Usually like a lol, you know, like yeah. Rush Hour or the Shanghai series and... Add like, some comedy. Yeah, There's Jackie comedy Chan is there, the reason yeah. why they're like, oh, this comedy. is cool, but the other guy's the reason why they're laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That oh, was Jackie Chan's funny me. too. Like, no, he, yeah. He's a funny dude. Plus, I love that he, you know, he definitely, he did all his own stuff. He does, like, he, yeah, like, that's, yeah. He's he does that's his the own one thing I remember about him. Team, though. Like, yeah. apparently he had, like, a huge speech where he, like, thanked his stunt team, and oh. they, like, it was a really cool video, because he has his own, like, school and does, like, a lot of stuff for, like, upcoming people. I'm pretty sure Tony Ja had some, like, dealings with him. Tony Ja's another really big, like... Underrated. Uh, I, think, I think Tony Shaw is very and underrated. Rocky do your fucking elephant, bro. The protector also. Yeah, Bar- yeah. That's Bar- that's the one where the elephant got thrown. Yeah, dude. Dang. He eat a whole elephant. A whole elephant. A whole elephant. But he doesn't. He doesn't do it. Someone else does. Got he's it, actually like the or whatever does it. Yeah, he's Jesus actually Christ. the protector of this elephant, the, and he he's like protecting, protecting him. Yeah. Not really. Oh, I mean, it was at the end whenever like he's he, breaking uh, his bones and shit. Yeah, yeah. He like Jesus. grabs a tusk. Yeah, and he fucks him over yeah. with a tusk. I was like, oh, it's because so that was the OP. that was the mom of the baby elephant yeah. that, that got chunked, and so he uses the tusks Dude, as weapons. Dude, fuck somebody. So fucking sick. <laughs> Literally. Oh, no, the Protector was such an over-the-top movie. It wasn't an American movie. I'm pretty sure it was, like, yeah. Indonesian uh, or yeah. something. Yeah, Indonesian. <sighs> Indonesian. And he was, he's a big martial artist, and it was, like, he's from a small village that had, like, their idol or something is taken, and he's the protector of said idol. So he goes and kung fus his way up to, like, a crime boss. There's a scene where he's running up. It's a one-shot, and it is probably one of the sickest one-shots I've ever seen, but he literally runs up, like, a spiral staircase and, like, just fucks people up the whole way. And there's there's a moment where, like, he gets maybe halfway through it, and he has to, like, jump back to the bottom or something, or he, like repels down with something, I don't know, and then goes back up again, fucking people up again, and it's, it's so sick. It's one of the coolest one-shot, and like, martial arts scenes I've ever seen. They have the sickest BTS-like cool. scenes, like, 
behind, oh my gosh like i remember watching those and it's just so crazy like yeah, when they follow tony ja <laughs> like <laughs> you could, i was saying Sorry. who's gonna make a bts joke <laughs> but, but yeah so uh there's a scene like behind the scenes with tony ja i think it's on ong Bok, but if you watch any of those behind the scenes like fucking crazy they got they i think they're driving in like in a little toyota or something they got the the cameraman he has this like huge camera outside the window and he's just following like tony while he's running and like kicking yeah. ass it's it's badass That's the stunts cool. that he that he does in those movies are insane yeah and he does he's one of those people that does all his own stunts so i mean it just makes it that much better to watch extremely underrated i think one of the cool things about like either foreign or just kung fu films in general is that production value can kind of be a little shoddy and it still be a good movie Mm -hmm. because you don't need a special effects team and you don't need all these other people because as long as you can film two people fighting and it look good you're solid and that's what i think a big thing where it's like small markets like we're talking about like indonesia for tony Ja, or even like the raid going back to it where cinematically it's not going to be a masterpiece but the fights in it and the action that's all good you don't have to worry about it being just just fake or cg or anything like that like they're beating each other's ass like when i think about foreign films one i'll bring up that involves something brutal like even like almost mentally brutal was uh the man from nowhere i forget the main guy's name but there's a scene there's five people around him he has a short blade somebody rushes him and what he does to intimidate everyone around him is he grabs this guy, spins him around. He takes his knife while he's backing up from him. He starts cutting down the fucking wrist. He goes like this. Uh, yeah, this is he's this already is really he's already dying after the first one, but he's going down the entire wrist, oh, man. bleeding him out. And then he looks at everyone, throws his ass, and commits to like fuck all of them up <laughs> horribly. One uh. guy mad as fuck. He has a gun. <laughs> fuck that gun. I'm killing y'all with my hands. And he just bodies them and like. Foreign films hit on that yeah. hard. Like, unbuck the raid, like you just yeah. said, the raid. Holy shit. Brutal mm-hmm. fights. Like, they're showing people getting their body or their arms it's, broken. The mutilation cracked. is so gross. It's so I love it. bad. Yeah, no, it's, it's awesome, but... <laughs> it's like, crazy, yeah. dude. Like, you're like, it's brutal. Like, cracking and all that. You're like, damn, bro, what's going on? Why? Yeah. Why are you doing that to them? What did he do to you? Why would you fuck him up like that? Like, <laughs> what are you? We're talking about like continuous <laughs> shots and like that are really brutal. Uh, old boy. Oh, in the God. hallway with the hammer. Hammer. I knew you were yeah. gonna go with the fucking hammer. They did the uh, the little detail where he was looking at his head and the line goes like this, dude, dude. dude. Yeah. And then he just cracks him. Cracks. Like Such holy, movie, he man. taught himself shadow boxing in the room. Yeah. Which was lit. He had never fought anybody in his life. He was locked in a room for like fifteen plus years. He was a long yeah. time, dude. And tied himself to shadow box when he got out. I'm gonna kill everybody. The fuck you think I was doing in here? And he did. <laughs> he did. Man so of his word. Up. I was oh. thinking about um while y'all were talking, like how cool it is. Like obviously you have all these really great fighters and whatever, and like they're actually no kung fu and they're fighting in kung fu, but like they had to also learn how to do like stage fighting, yeah. like for it to yeah. look real. As quickly as they were moving, like all these like powerful moves and moving really fast and whatever, without it actually being real, <laughs> without it actually being real and make it look real, like that's crazy. I wonder how many people actually got fucked up. Yeah, in, right. In, like the Definitely. that was like, a cool thing about got a little bit me. too close. It's cool thing about Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee had a problem with it because he was a hundred percent. So they had oh, to get yeah. cameras that would even catch some of his moves because. He would move too fast for it to look good on film. Didn't scary, and he would me. also yeah. like he he would hurt people. Didn't he kick Jackie That's, Chan in yeah. the face? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, Jack, it's crazy as you like go through like it goes from like Ip Man to Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee trained some of the yeah. more classically like Jackie Chan, Chuck Norris, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. So it like slowly keeps like winding down where it's all like this one continuous motion of actors. I gotta say I'm really excited like how far it's come. Just uh. Like, like we were just talking about earlier, like Tony Ja, he's he's in all these movies now, and like you know Donnie Yen. I was about to say Donnie well. Yen's finally getting really big. Yeah. Like he was in the John uh, John Wick Four in the Mandalorian, right? If I'm not mistaken. Oh, I think he was in Mandalorian. He's a blind no, guy. Or? He was in a uh, Rogue One. Yeah, Rogue One. Rogue oh, yeah. One. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's the, the blind dude. Yeah. Oh, okay. But he's finally, because he's had notoriety. He was big in his respective country, you know, like popular with Ip Man, but 
he didn't have like that blockbuster, you know, yeah. role and those things like you're like you're saying, it's like slowly crept in and now Donnie yeah. Yen should be a household name if, yeah. if he's not already. And I know recently he's I wasn't really gonna address it, but it's like a bit controversial right now. Uh just cause I wasn't gonna address it. Shut <laughs> he's under some heat, you know. Just, but that's just because, like, you know, that has nothing. If you guys, like, are really against Donnie Yen, just for, like, respecting his government and stuff, like, I don't know. What maybe what about about yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, like, it's not like, spilling like, any of the tea You're right the right worst here. storyteller ever. Anybody, bro. <laughs> you're like, you're well, just, just yeah. Yeah. You do just, anything I'm but get to the point. Like, we need well, to be served. <laughs> like, we're you go insane. around. It was once upon a time in Italy. And this is what you said. Roast hour with Fabian. Oh, go. Go ahead and pour the tea. My cup is ready. No, it was just uh, he like spoke out publicly, I think, on uh, matters that addressed uh, his his government, because I don't know if it's um, I don't know if it's China or something, but uh, I can't really quote it perfectly. So that's why I'm not. But mm -hmm. anyway, like came into this conversation, everybody was cocked. like, Donnie Yen's canceled. Like, he's not. They pretty much just like banned him as like they. I don't know. It's so they kind of like spoke out against his government. Him. Yeah, they're, basically. They're, like people here in America are trying to like ostracize him, pretty much. Because he agreed with his government. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, okay. And okay, okay. I don't know. Hey, I have a question. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so one of the movies we used to watch a lot growing up was uh, Kung Pao. Mm -hmm. I guess what it was. Oh my god! But that was like one that was based off of like a legit <laughs> movie. He <laughs> just like dubbed it and made it like. Oh, what, what was the original movie? I have no idea. Kung Pao. I'm that was a, sure that was a Kung comedy. Pao. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, a it was comedy. like a parody. Of and he kind of like he green screened himself into the yeah. old movie. I just don't remember the what whole it was called. Thing is, yeah. like, is, is that what it's called? Princess I was like, because I've never seen. <laughs> it's based on the Tiger and Crane Fist, oh also called gosh. Savage Killers. Yeah, I was like, Kong I've Pally never Fist. seen the original. I've only From seen a 1976 Kung Pao. movie. And that's that probably shit why you've never seen it. I like, love it's Kung so Pao. Stupid. That's no, just the like, yeah. original. Oh, yeah. Go talk that's, to him. That's funny as fuck. Dude, no, you know yeah, what? Yeah, that, that, it, it is really funny. Oh, Dubs oh, originated when he's, like, from trying those to go type find movies, her, bro. And they, like, like this the, movie, Volcano like, High. On him, and he can't get out. The Dubs, y'all <laughs> ever, <have y> <laughs> ever listened to Dubs over, like, a lot of martial arts movies? They're fucking funny. Because it's obviously not the person talking. They got the most yeah. English motherfucker in the background. <laughs> and then a fight scene happened. Yeah. <laughs> and you're know, like, what's going on here? We'll get into that later. <laughs> I feel like Kung Fu movies <laughs> created words. the entire, like, dub, like, like stigma where it's like their voices don't add up because yeah. they weren't there's, fucking trying there's bro like a yeah. part in this movie where the guy I don't even know what he's saying he says something but it's like the his mouth. mouth moves like it barely moves and the guy's like -na -na -na. he like does the whole thing about like Neo sport and it's yeah. like what like, where did y'all oh even get God. this Kung Fu from? Hustle did that oh, was so that good. was a funny it. dub though I actually kind of enjoyed the dub because it's just so Dude. bad it's good one of the it mans uh, the guy who does the voice for Vegeta what? Does one of the overdubs for um, one of the characters, and it's like I immediately knew it was him. Uh, it was a Christopher, voice? Chris, Sabat? Chris, Chris, yeah, Chris Abbott. Holy he was a uh, he was the guy. I want to oh say my. I thought I want to say it was the second. Oh. I want to say it was oh. the second movie, um, but he's the guy that was trying to challenge him to be the Grand Master or something like that. And you know, like Vegeta's talking, bro. Cause dude, it was so amazing. like I immediately knew it was him. Especially I went because he lost. Oh, I went to I am, yeah. <laughs> Is yeah. very very Damn. on brand, um, <laughs> but I was like I was like this is, sounds like Vegeta, and then I looked it up and it wasn't on IMDb, and I I found out that a lot of the times people that do like voiceovers for those types of movies don't get credited most of the time. Damn. So yeah, so he wasn't even credited for that movie for doing oh, the voice wow. like the English voice. Well, I think it's because all I mean it's the same thing with like like anime and stuff like that. We're only now getting to a point where we start recognizing voice actors for yeah. their work. Yeah, for for sure. movies like that, the only I mean, and it's this is an older it, movie too. It sounds like I'm I'm demeaning their their craft, but the only thing they're contributing is reading the script. Everything else was done. Yeah, so I could understand mm -hmm. where some people, especially if it's like, hey, the only way you're going to watch this movie is if we dub it, that everybody gets credit but the people that just read the script. I mean, yeah. I'm not saying it's fair, but I can understand a little bit of it. I could understand that, but <laughs> if like we're in a room with. People who make that decision, I would argue to say, like, because of the dub, they have a following 
Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And a, but a lot of times too with these dubs, they're not even official by like the company, like the original production oh, company, yeah. like that studio. It's like third party. They, yeah, yeah it's, it's all third party, and that's how a lot of voice acting started. Was that third party people would go and they would Translate do these dubs it. and get trans? Yeah, and they wouldn't do it for the credit as much as they would do it because they wanted to bring it to the United States. Yeah. That's actually that happened with Dragon Ball Z and. There was even like a parody company, those Team Four Star. Yeah, there's a fun. Those and they do a lot of like funny overdubs. Well, they did it all for free and just put it on the internet. Mm -hmm. They got so popular that there's actually an episode in Dragon Ball Z that they let them come and do the voice acting. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, wow. and that was just a really cool like like nod to like we acknowledge that you did this. So yeah. sometimes it's really just putting in the work until you that's get cool. that acknowledgement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I could understand where it would suck not getting credit. I want credit oh, for everything I do. I can see why it, it would be just like <coughs> extra work. Like, yeah. To yeah the, nothing the, the, the first credits the first hit band yeah. doesn't have a dub. At least it's not on Netflix. Mm -hmm. I mean, so you have to do the subtitle version on that one. But honestly the action in it is so good that it's worth it if you don't if you're not a big fan of like reading you or know, if you can't yeah. Yeah, I think that's, I eat, that's what stops me. a lot of people now too, eat right? Green. Like they're like, oh, <laughs> there's no dub for it, so I can't watch it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Well, either. Come on. But Grow but up. It, it I have did... a mental condition. <laughs> Fuck yeah. you! Stop. stop ordering chicken tenders everywhere you oh go. God. There's other <laughs> food. <laughs> Fuck. I was like, you thought we were saying it. Justin's like staring into my soul, like you know what I'm talking about. You. There's so many things I haven't been able you to gotta enjoy open because your there's, not a, there's not a dubbed version of. <laughs> I the, can't concentrate on it, the and because like I'll start like I'll start paying attention to what's actually happening, and so then the words are just going by, and I'm like. Fuck, I didn't read it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like, go back, go back. Or I'll like read it and I'm like, damn. She'll ask me, what did they say? Actually, yeah. And my brain's like, I'm just kind of like taking it all in, but I want to give her like, he tries well, to give me like the roughest like because that's all I got in the moment because I'm waiting for the rest of the like, context watching to get it, back And I'm here. like, wait, what did they just say? <gasps> They're going to the store. But it's really like, <laughs> like we got to go get but these ingredients the, so we can create. And, and I'm what like, are they doing? They're going to the fucking store. Like, <laughs> but he doesn't give me any of the context of like why they're going to the store. So I just know they're the going to the store, but I don't know them for buy. what. And I'm like, whatever. I'm like, can you just go backwards? So like an uh, episode <laughs> that takes like 30 minutes takes me like an hour because I have to keep rewinding. Like, <laughs> it's so bad. The only reason why I don't do the the sub versus dub is because most of the time it's like on the side view for me so i have to be able to hear what they're doing in between like scenes me going back and forth between watching what's going on and whatever i'm doing yeah but if i have nothing going on i can do the subs especially yeah. like with my hero i, I did the subs because mm -hmm. I needed oh, I needed to see I watch what was happening because it's anyways. so good. Yeah. Are you saying like the the chef's kiss for the subs of my hero? I am. Are you saying <laughs> yeah, I'm the saying. English version isn't good though? Because I never said I love that. The English. I, the I, English do, I do as well. Hey. It's fine, <laughs> but the sub. It's not fine, Deku. It's great. It's fucking spectacular. You want a comparison? Watch him punch muscle. Our muscle man. Just watch it. I, I'm just, just watch it, you know. <laughs> yeah, this is, this, is, this is why I can't have this argument with people that are well, sub versus dubs because no. when I try to give my piece, I'm like, no, mm -mm, you just got to go. But I didn't you say just, it was bad. I just did that. I said it was fine. I did it. Yeah, there's a, there's a, clearly, there's a lot of good dub out there. Yeah, for sure. But my hero is one of them. Yeah. It's, it's fine. That sounds so bad when I say that. It's, it's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. good. It's, it's good. Fine. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. I will say, I like I like all my dub versus sub. Yeah, because he has like that American feel to him. I well, feel not like even that, just, dude. Just his like that voice actor is one of my favorite voice actors, and his Vegeta. like it is Vegeta. Yes, yeah. um, but and that's what I'm saying is like his voice is so like heroic. I want to say like I don't know, just very, when he. Very, it's one of those things that I like the Goku in English versus. Uh, oh, I agree sub. with that. 100%. Like he just sounds like a little bit more. It's yeah, just, well, it sounds more heroic. Voiced by little old Japanese ladies for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> Like Goku's, I'm pretty sure like a 90 year old Japanese woman. Yeah, <laughs> she's old. That's cool though. So I wanted to bring it back because we were talking earlier about Who's one running of this ship today. The biggest thing. <laughs> well, yeah, for real, what the hell? I wanted to just <laughs> bring it back. I can't. I can't hold my breath when it comes to Tekken. Well, let's talk so, Tekken. Oh, I would love to say like Street Fighter. We were all raised on this shit. Like you were. Um, Mortal Kombat. Tekken. I can't personally Tekken. say I got my ass Tekken beat like y'all, but was I was played. running that shit in the arcade. <laughs> so. I was Capcom. using Ogre, bro. Yeah. yeah, they had Tekken Tag Tournament yeah. after normal Tekken. Tekken. That was like Tekken Tag was sick. King and Yoshimitsu. Tekken. I'm so Who's excited. Who was y'all's Tekken, Tekken player? 
Hor- uh, whoring. Michelle. I would wow. fucking do that. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't give a fuck, Dude. bro. Kick well, the shit out of you both. Y'all go first. Y'all go first. Mine was Michelle. Michelle. She's so cute. That, <laughs> that I, looks like you, Alex. I got a group That's probably why I picked her. I was like, I, I feel like I'm So we have her. a copy of Tekken 7 because of No, I know, of but I'm Crystal, trying to think of, like, I, I know. Crystal, <laughs> I'm trying to think of, like, names of the characters, and I'm like, shit, I'm mixing them up between, like, always, four different games. You're like, wait, is this Mortal Kombat or Tekken? On me. Oh, she I did. always I used Jin. I do like Jin, though. Jin was sick. He was a badass, bro. Dude. He was always a badass. Such a good, like, I know they did the Netflix show recently. It was pretty cool. They did, like, good animation. I was going to say, was I that an anime? Was longer. The story wish... could have been longer, exactly. 100%. They rushed yeah. like the big thing. Like, mm-hmm. He didn't find out about his demon shit until, like, I want to say, Tekken Tag Tournament yeah. after Ogre showed up. Yeah. They rushed that shit in the anime. And Y'all talk like about good Tekken. lore. Like, Tekken has There's really good lore. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not, it's not, Wait, it's, so it's, what, what was y'all's character? It's a bad kung fu movie. <laughs> What's uh, your character, Josh? Paul. Oh, oh, that punch. That fucking, that fucking I was going to say that hair. Yeah, the hair. Polly D. That was guile. <laughs> that was the guile of Tekken. Facts. Perkins. Mine was Horang, bro. Kicking. Horang? I would yeah. fucking put people in the air and then do that triple kick. Him. Spam. Or Eddie Goro. Close I think, second. Yeah, I was going to say Eddie Goro or Yoshimishu. 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 He's like the samurai. Crazy. The samurai would sit on the sword. And, and he's translated to different video games, too. Like yeah. Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur, yeah. yeah. And, there was uh, one that looked like fucking Lemony Snicket. Oh, the, I think no, that was that's the, a, the the grandpa. Yeah, the main he boss. Has, like, the hair. Yes. Like, Hachi. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's one yeah, of my yeah. mans. He's one of my mans. Bad. That's a bad man I've right there. Yeah. Anybody <laughs> say he looks like Lemony <laughs> Snicket? <laughs> and now that it's going to ruin it, me ever <laughs> looking so at him like sorry. a badass again. I was like, I'm now okay that look at him Yeah, he's got like. What's, what's yours? Well, Hihachi's one of them, but I I, I also main Dragonov, which he's badass. Mm-hmm. All this cloak and dude. dagger to name some mid ass Tekken characters. Uh oh, <laughs> hell no, hell Tekken's no. Tekken's the one with Lee, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they had yeah. a Bruce Lee. Yeah. They had yeah. a Bruce Lee. Yeah. Bruce and exactly. So you talk about like where they drew their inspiration uh, from. You got Lei Wulong, who's based off of like Jackie Chan. Mm-hmm. You got Martial Law. Who's Martial based Law. Off of Bruce. Oh, it was fucking well, sick. Forrest bro. Law, and his son. If you, you know, look at like those characters, like specifically like Jackie Chan and Bruce yeah. Lee, they found their way into so many things you never think about, like yeah. Pokemon, Hitmon Lee, Hitmon and Hitmon Chan. Hitmon Chan. Holy Street shit! I never put that characters. together. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. yeah, I I just love the community so much. I'm so excited for Tekken Eight coming out real soon. There's such a big community for I that swear too. To God, Tekken is paying. I was like, are they paying? I was so excited about it. Check it out, April seventh. Drop your gamer tags. Wait, Wait, Crystal, did you ever did you ever figure out what your character was? Oh yeah, so it was Jin, but it was also uh, King. 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 King was cool. Yeah. Yeah. I was Did like, there's somebody else I'm thinking of. I'm gonna figure it out. It was oh, was King? He had like a leopard arm. Was that a mask? Yeah. 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 Or was it a mask or was he I feel like that was his head. I was uh, was that his head? No, they, I'm no, not talking so, about ads. Did they ever no, take that shit off? They've had a few instances. Like, I don't know if it, I don't recall if it was the games, but they had a few instances where they show it was a match. It was a, oh, okay, oh, okay, yeah, okay. he oh. slid the bitch on. Yeah. They don't show his fucking face on. But I, I don't know if they've retconned that, if they've changed I wonder if, that. It's, if it's like a luchador kind of thing where he has to I like, you know, like you don't want to unveil his face. Yeah, gotcha. his style makes sick. sense. Like yeah. dude, he'd be a luchador, so that makes perfect sense. Yeah, I mean, talk about luchador. You can talk about like even like wrestling and how that's drawn inspiration from kung fu. It's just choreographed fighting. Yeah. Oh yeah. Man, I I'm so especially like I watch the older movies and the choreography in those. They're so good, man. They're just yeah. I don't know. I can't I can't imagine like what it takes to learn all that shit and i bet it's funny to like i think if i would have gotten kicked in the face by bruce lee i would have been so Game happy over. you would have yeah. been, been so <laughs> happy, you yeah. been happy. Yeah. like i would have leaned into it You'd on purpose you couldn't be nap. happy you, i mean i would have been asleep but you know it, it would have been fine <laughs> take a nap <laughs> like what's up <laughs> <I'm just done. laughs> who's who's y'all's goat like as far as like kung fu movies Man. Bruce Lee, hands down. I'll say Bruce Lee because I don't know. I feel like anyway. if he had gotten but who's, about his career. It doesn't matter if, like, if you think they're the goat. Who's your goat? Like My When goat? you think of Kung Fu, like who's who's the guy? Jack Black. <laughs> Jack Black. <laughs> <laughs> that Kung Fu panda It's roll. not Jack Black. It's the panda. It's Poe. It's Poe. <laughs> It's I don't cool. know. I I don't I don't have. I'm not like a. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, kung fu. You know, mm-hmm. I, there's not oh, anybody man. who's. I said probably Jackie Chan is probably who I would say. Yeah, Jackie if, Chan's a good. If anybody, he is good. 
That's a damn. Was good who I was like. Pick. Safe like, pick. You know, could, pick, like what he chance. did. I I didn't get to yeah. watch the one where I think it's called like Drunken Fist or something like that, Ooh. where he like fights with a, that style, like Drunken. Dude, I, I didn't get to watch it. I want to watch it. Uh, That's so crazy. Have you watched it? Uh, yeah, I've seen bits of it. There was like this phase that I went through. I was like obsessed with kung fu. Drunken Fist is like, dope. That's fulfill probably fulfill one of the coolest name. fighting styles. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's like, crazy that you're, you're you guys didn't name. know that. No, no. I thought if Fabian anything, Lee. Yeah, never want you have never checked said my shit government about that. files. <laughs> I what's your, you what's your social security? Kung fu. <laughs> what's your social security? <laughs> when you guys like secretly, when y'all like drop shit and stuff, I'm like catching it. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> you guys just haven't noticed. <laughs> but um, man, I don't know. I guess I want to give more light to Tony Jaw still, but my goat is obviously Bruce Lee. I think yeah, honestly, same. Yeah, Bruce Lee. And again, it's for me. He opened the door to like kung fu for me, and growing up watching his stuff, and I feel like. Kind of like Ip Man is to Bruce Lee. Like, I feel like without Bruce Lee, you don't get Jackie Chan, yeah. Tony Ja, even people like Michael Ja White. There wouldn't be a Shang-Chi. Yeah. You know. Well, that's and that's what I was saying, too, earlier is how, like, uh, you know, the Kung Fu community was pissed at him for, like, showing other people. But mm. if he hadn't shown others... Would we have like the movies and the characters that we have now? Definitely had he not done not that, the, you know, not the public eye, have especially in the West. Into the yeah. Dragon. It was like a first bio, like his first like biopic movie. I don't know. If, no, I wanted to where That's, he he fights someone, right? Like he the, fights him at the end, and it's because they get mad at him for yes. teaching Westerners kung fu. Yeah, mm. it's like apparently what puts him out that that was him. And, that was on my list of I need to watch this, a, and it looked one. it looked really good. What about yours, Crystal? I'm gonna say Jackie Chan. I don't know. I'm gonna go for Jackie Chan or Jet Li, just because, like, again, Which growing up, like Jake those Wong. are the two that I watch the most, like in any like right. movies or anything. So I have more exposure to them than anybody else. I think if I don't know if I've ever completed a full kung fu movie <gasps> that, except for like maybe The Matrix. So if I had to say one that I actually watched the whole thing of. Was like Keanu Reeves. Wow. I mean, he knows Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Yeah. yeah. But obviously, the goat is Bruce. Steven Seagal. <laughs> <laughs> Steven Seagal. I'm actually going to go with the Jet Li. When Jet he was Lee? making, yeah. when he was releasing Ooh, movies, yeah. Yeah. he would be fucking people up. Really I knew was, any, like, yeah. Honestly, remember Unleashed? That was a good like, one. Yeah. That was our, I feel like that was my generation for sure. Like, that was my Bruce Lee. Like, yeah. even though, like, we were still constantly watching that, all these movies were coming out, yeah. like, Kiss the Dragon, yes. Romeo Must Die. He was in some dope-ass movies, like, where they were doing the choreographed, like, dancing fighting shit with yeah. the, the cables and stuff pulling them. He was doing that, too. Dude. Oh, even, like, Hero? Y'all remember that one, where it was set in, like, old Japan? Yep. I don't think I saw that one. That was a really, that was a beautiful movie. Oh, he died at Green the end, Hornet. Right? Yeah, so. he was fucking oh, going off on everybody. Was, Jet Li was also in Green Hornet, and uh, that wasn't Jet Li. Wait, is it not? No. no. Wait, hold up. It's racist. Movie with Seth Rogen? No, 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 no. <laughs> Canceled. Cato. <laughs> uh, Bruce Lee was the original Cato, if I'm not mistaken. What? Green Hornet. Yeah. I'm about to show y'all's asses. No, you're not. Oh, are you? You're the only person. Are you? Yeah. I can tell you that it's What's not that him. What's the one with the green horde mask? That was like, that's the right movie. You're just wrong. You're just wrong? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh fuck y'all. It's black mask. But still. He, <laughs> it's a good, black has, mask, green it's, mask. It's, it's two different same, color masks. No, it's literally the same outfit, except it's not green. So fuck but y'all. It's, <laughs> it's basically the but same you're still thing, except wrong. they have different titles Races, and they're not the same. You said green hornet. <laughs> like a fucking Tekken 8, you fuck. Oh, okay. Who wants to play me, guys? I'll see you. Uh, see me at Mortal Kombat. Oh, shit. Mortal okay, Kombat. I'm done. <laughs> Man, Mortal, uh, Mortal Kombat. I mean, we were talking a lot about Tekken. I was trying to back it up a minute to give Mortal Kombat the respect it deserves. I feel like... Respect. Yeah, a whole ass Man. franchise. Yeah. Movie. Even Ed Boon's franchise. like branched out to like Injustice. Uh, mm -hmm. We got like a lot more fighting games from him as well. Mm -hmm. And who is Ed Boon for the people that don't know? MK Creator. I'm still not. Mortal Kombat. Good say. Oh. Just kidding. like when I didn't know the initials Quit of Fallout Boy. <laughs> I said, I don't know who's if you guys F saw that BTS, but <laughs> who's just stay behind the scenes. Fabian, are you dumb? You don't know who FOB is? 
It was Fall Out Boy. Are you feeling, <laughs> like, like, wait, I was about to say, are you feeling wait, attacked wait, over I here? Like, I was, well, man. After we're done. Black Mask, go watch it. It's awesome. Dude, and it's not It's not Green Hornet. It's not, not, it's Green, not Hornet. Green Hornet. <laughs> we don't really get a lot of like traditional kung fu movies anymore. I was trying to think about one yeah. of like, the last one I've seen that was new that isn't like a like a foreign film. And mm-hmm. What was a Marvel movie? Uh, uh, Shang-Chi? That wasn't yes, yeah. I like that one, but I was I was trying to think like maybe you're talking about traditional type of shit. Yeah, it's been it's a like while, a traditional man. like martial arts. Movie. We're in like an era of um, damn people man. recreating nostalgic movies like kung fu. Like is they a could recreate hell of a some fucking drug. Yeah, and supposedly they are making another Rush Hour movie. Yeah, no supposedly. That's supposedly, what, I, I don't know how it's yeah. it's just. But I feel like yeah. I've been hearing Chris Tucker rumors for like ten years. Yeah. Like, they're gonna make yeah. another Friday. They're gonna make yeah. another rush oh, hour. Yeah. They get it old. I want. I want no like a stunts. new like like it's a Tony Jaa or something. Hour. It's like yeah. an American based movie though. That's just kind of fun. I, I feel like the closest it. we may have gotten is like Snake Slow Eyes, hour. the GI Joe movie. Final oh, hour. I fucking forgot about that. Maybe Slow Hour. Or I'm that like, jujitsu movie I was telling you about. With, oh my god, the we never watched it. Yeah, I think no, we, we started it, but it got it. kind of jujitsu movie with Nick Cage. Yeah, oh. it came out like it, that. Just came out like two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah, like it was pretty recent. Wow. It's kind of sad thinking about it. I was like, I'm really ism. thinking hard. Like when the last time I seen a movie like Ip Man or something like that. I can't think of one like that was like that was like the breakthrough, right? Like Ip Man was a breakthrough. I feel like it might be like John Wick. John Wick is gun food yeah. too. But I mean, and it's, know, but yeah, it's like, like the closest oh, in comparison is action movies like that. And we were kind of going to talk about those, I think, a little bit. And do you well, consider those? It's I, just a different. It's a. It's a very very similar genre, but it's just like gun. just different enough to where like I don't see them as the same style of movie. Right. I feel like they there's no like. Which is an structure to yeah. the fighting itself, as far as like with like we like we pointed out in a lot of these like martial arts movies, there's a lot of them have like very like these are these moves, this is how you do these moves. Mm-hmm. But then in John Wick, there's I mean, he beats a dude to death basically with like a book, so you know, but there's not a lot of it isn't like actual like. I think like it's martial arts. Movie, right? There's, there's no, like, like a big moment in like the second movie where they're like in like a room that just magically is full of a bunch of like axes and swords, and they fight with those. Yeah, for like ten minutes or the very there's a fight at the end where there's they're fighting in like a glass like yeah. room, yeah, 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 and it's like yeah. two really he- one of those dudes was actually in uh the the raid the oh. but there it's like a big long ass drawn out like. <laughs> Kung Fu esque fight, and they're still shooting at each I'd other. I say it's, yeah, I say it's a type of like, martial arts because like the way has, they're moving those guns. But you're right, it is a lot of choreographed yeah. movement. But it's fucking, it's slick enough that I'm like, they had to train to do that. Kung Fu is just if it's full. something that's choreographed. It's like you can choreograph any fight. Yeah, any it's just the. Uh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> we'll get that part out. I feel like when we start getting <laughs> into that, <laughs> you start trying to like. Open the gates of like what is and isn't considered, and you really kind of have to be uh, selective. This about is a it. fun like conversation we have for like every topic we, do. we yeah. cover because it's like, well, can you include this? Because if it's just like a lot of guns and stuff, it's underworld. Underworld it's, has, a ton, oh, of, yeah. has yeah. a ton of shooting and a ton of people people getting punched. I love but what I really want to do it as far as like all of those fights because I mean, if you think about just fighting in general, like there's a difference between like boxing and like yeah. you watch like martial arts yeah, fights exactly. and stuff like that. Like there's a difference between like all of those and. So I feel like even for that, like, again, like, because it's not, like, Cause, the uh, actual art there are of, lots the, of different for example, whatever martial arts they're doing, yeah. I think like it's still action, but it's not it's not kung fu. specifically kung fu. For example, have y'all seen the movie Warrior with uh, Tom Hardy? No. Like, Every time I look up it's like, it's like a, for some reason, It does come out a lot, but it's because they're doing martial arts. Okay. They're doing MMA. Well, that makes sense. So oh. it's like, that's one of those movies that's like, it's not... Te- I don't see it as a kung fu movie, movie, but like every time I do search yeah, yeah. for it, it pops up for some reason. Mm. I mean, marketing. <laughs> be like, yeah. this isn't exactly what you want, but you might be interested in. If, if you like kung fu, you'll probably like this. Yeah. We'll call it like a, we'll call it kung fu a like subgenre. Yeah, yeah, it is yeah. a very yeah. subgenre. It was just I it's was a cool. To, like, it's a cool yeah. genre. Like and I love those fucking movies. Yeah. Because the, I think the raid had some shit like that in it. Where I'm talking about they're fighting, they're doing martial arts, but yep. they have weapons and they're 
like breaking somebody's bone. And then, oh yeah, I have a gun. I'm just gonna shoot your ass too. Yeah. After you don't cripple them for life, we may as well finish. Have you ever off. seen the movie? Uh, that it's weird. There was a, the French version was B13, and then they made an American version with Paul Walker. And it was uh, Brick Mansions. Brick Mansions. Oh, it the was, name of that movie does sound familiar. I've, I've, I've watched I've, it. I don't know if I've watched it, but I definitely have, I've heard of Brick it's Mansions. It's just like there's like a, a quarantine part of the world or it's like the slums and there's a guy that's controlled with like trying to go in and stop a bomb from going off. Mm. And in B-13, the main character actually is the same character in Brick Mansions. They just replaced the sub character with Paul Walker and made it an American movie. Mm. But it's, it's got a lot of that raid, raid redemption type feel like it's, I mean, it feels like more parkour than Kung Fu, but it's, so, it has that, that element to it. I was just lo- uh, curious a little bit, looking up some gun Fu movies and uh, IMDb suggests that, of course, John Wick's at the top. Yeah. The but then we got Matrix. Yep. They got uh, Django in here, which is, I don't know. Like the I wouldn't Django say that. Man. Jamie Foxx? Yeah. Django? But, wow. I mean, he was eloquent with the guns. He was, but. <laughs> he was kind of. Yeah, but I don't. Like they the weren't f- fighting with it. He was yeah. accurate mm-hmm. as fuck. But then there's like Deadpool on here. I and like, I, I, that's where I'm kind of like drawing the that's line. That's where that, that gets that's super really blurry. Funny. If you Never like the show, take him. Him. Yeah. Take which, him. While we're on the subject, I have to make a correction from earlier because I mentioned Karate Kid, which Karate and Kung Fu are two different styles of martial arts. Yeah. It's funny, actually. They're, they, yeah. they even make a joke in those where it's talking mm-hmm. about it, and it was in the Jackie Chan remake with... Uh, Jaden... J- Jaden Smith. Smith. It's like, uh-huh. he's not learning karate. He's learning kung fu. And oh. There was even a joke where it was like, this should be called Kung Fu Kid, not Karate Kid. Oh. Because they, you're right, that's always... It's like a Jurassic Park when people look at the logo, and they're like, the T-Rex isn't from the Jurassic period. It's oh. the same thing with yeah, Karate Kid, yeah, where it's... Yeah. Yeah. We've turned karate into any kind of like fighting that seems martial, seen, arts. Yeah, yeah, martial yeah, arts fighting. Yeah, yeah. It's like the Crayola of it. It's not yeah, really what they are, but totally. everybody calls it that. Yeah, totally. but it's wild as fuck to even think about. Yeah, it, it sucks. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's part of like why like MMA is called MMA though, is because, 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 because there's it's they, they use so many different forms of Which is why it makes so know, much like, more sense that it would technically be a martial arts movie. They're just fighting in a very structured martial arts way instead of a guy running through town beating the shit yeah. out of twelve yeah. people. Yeah, but they do that too sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it counts as martial arts, but not specifically. I guess like kung fu right. or karate. Yeah. Yeah. I guess there's like specific styles to how you would break those down. Even when we've been talking about all of these different movies, like going back to like Tekken, we talk about Tekken and there was like Eddie, I think Eddie somebody Gordo. mentioned it. Don't yeah. you do like Brazilian jiu-jitsu or Capoeira. something? Capoeira. Capoeira. Yeah, yeah. yeah that kicking, dancing shit that yeah, like fucks that's, your world up. That's not oh technically that Kung Fu. So maybe we're not talking <laughs> about Kung Fu as much as we're just talking about martial, like martial arts. arts. That, that yeah. works. And I think that kind of opens it up where we don't feel as limited about it. So yeah. Somebody about, somewhere is going to listen to this and be like, these dumb you asses. They don't know anything. So dumb. Sorry, guys. Martial <laughs> arts. Martial arts. All kinds of martial arts. Yeah. Today. That's, yeah. that's what it was, y'all. Because then you could start talking about, like, because blood, like, blood and Bone, like, that movie was great. And that was more of, like, what would happen if MMA just happened in alleyways with gangsters? Or in prison. <laughs> or in he prisons. was beating their ass. Oh, you going to try to drop soap here? Huh. You're going to a number and you've got West Side Story. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anime dump? Ooh, we're gonna, what are we talking about today, Perkins? Well, we're talking about Baki, the grappler. Now, if you want to feel like a motherfucking man, an alpha man, not a beta, that (laughs) alpha is fucked! Sitting right here. Baki (laughs) is the one. All right. I lost 20% hearing in my right ear. I got headphones on, so. Oh, oh God, well. God like, Daniel. RIP, RIP my great, ears. Reagan's. Keep it up. Yeah, <laughs> keep up your intensity. Don't apologize. Basically, this, this damn anime is out there. Fuck yeah. All kinds of martial arts. It starts with a 13, and I said, yes, 13-year-old boy. With the does world's worst 13? parents. Dude, I'm He's still shocked. Mm. He, he doesn't oh, look 13. He's more you. stacked than most I Olympians. Like, <laughs> first thing you see. Old school gang members, like the Japanese gang members, they have their swords and fucking mm-hmm. baseball Chains bats because obviously in Japan you don't have guns because laws and shit. And then you have one guy, one 13 year old boy named Baki. <laughs> he walks up to a hundred <laughs> people 
And he's like, come at me, bro. <laughs> After he beats the fucking leader up, by the way, he jumps up, puts his legs around beats the guy's the neck, and beats him. the dog shit oh out of God. his face. And that's it. And the, the fight starts. There's a cop and his partner watching like, oh, he's going to lose. <laughs> oh, they, oh, they, oh, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just goes out there and takes out one of the 37, 37 fucking 37 people. 37 people. Gets knocked <laughs> out. Damn it. I thought I could take out 50. What the fuck? You mean who <laughs> fight that many people and just act like it's okay? Then they go, they fast forward. This man is fighting a gorilla now. That makes I'm sense. Not, After 37 I, yeah. people, it's like, <laughs> yeah, gorilla. where else do you go? You go to a gorilla, yeah, yeah. Go to, what was it, the great yeah. Yasha. Yeah, yeah it was like, Yasha. it ended up being like a spirit animal of sorts where <laughs> he like he earned my step. respect. Yeah, he, he <laughs> fought the dude and he defeated this gorilla by learning how to pass the borderline. The borderline is something that fighters go through in their mind. You get beat up so bad, go through so much pain that your body has one or two choices. You either fucking knock out or you get these endorphins and they make you feel real good like. <laughs> you just want to keep fighting. But then that's not it. There's it another like level to high? it for grapplers. <laughs> and to get that, you know how he does it? He doesn't fight. He jumps off a mountain, does a suicide dive. Hey, if I jump off this shit, I'll be fucking Goku, I guess. <laughs> Wrong. He jumps off it and immediately realizes his fucking mistake. Like, hey, I just jumped off a fucking mountaintop. Fuck I'm probably going to die. This dude's entire motivation, though, is to beat his dad's ass. Yeah. Oh, I get yeah. it. And earn the respect of his mom. <laughs> and there's a point, like, what fucked me up when we were when I was watching it was like, his mom. Because he has this fight with his dad, <laughs> and his dad is telling her, her his, his dad is, like, this ultimate fighter. Everybody's afraid of him. Yeah. And the mom's like, it's, I've loved you for 13 years. I've loved you enough. It's time for you to return the favor. Damn. If you don't beat your dad... I'll never love you again. Yeah. Because, and then she, like, she like, beats his ass. ass. <laughs> like she beats his ass in public because she's like, you're just a piece of shit. You're the uh, reason my dad doesn't, or my husband doesn't love me. Flashbacks. Oh my God. Yeah, like she's fucking brutal. <laughs> fucking. And no. Talk about shit. pressure. Dude, pressure. <laughs> she fucking, like all she wants is Yujiro, who is a menace of fucking society, by the way. Yo, how to they got together. Some, like just to show some love. Doesn't happen. In fact, he smacks her, and then he's like, "Huh, come here, bitch. <laughs> I think I'll actually fight what you've built up in Baki." And she's like, "Oh, fuck yes!" Oh my god! Fast forward. <laughs> this dude kills her. You remember how he kills her? No. He breaks her arms while Baki is watching, and then she keeps trying to kick him like this, like a rag. Oh. Baki, no! What the crap? Like she squeezes the dog shit and kills her. And Baki, there's a scene that's really sad. I'm going to get back to the Kung Fu, but the scene, he's carrying her dead body away, talking to her. And you don't realize she's dead until he stops because a cop is talking to him. Like, hey, what are you doing? And he's like, I just want a little more time with her. I want to walk one last time with my mom because she's dead. He's been carrying around her dead body. And then, like, I mean, that's how that fucking arc ends. He got his ass beat Man. by you, Jiro. Damn. Then we start getting to the actual... You know, let's get away from the head trauma shit. Let's yeah, I was like, this is going to be trauma. therapy. Yeah. <laughs> you had a, uh, who was the guy? Haniyama. Haniyama, a 15-year-old. I was about to say, a 15-year-old that looked like a fucking building. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> They're like, he's 15, Can and he's like sitting mention, in a chair. Just like let's let's every mention their physiques first the before physiques, we get into like. If you, I mean, the reason Maki has a following that basically shows like if you like Baki, you're somebody that's like, yeah, dude, I want that physique. I want to be a fucking <laughs> alpha. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's if anime for anybody that's ever taken steroids. Okay. <laughs> Maybe even more than that. You know, like <laughs> Baki, those characters are so fucking stacked Jacked. and ridiculous. A 15 year old, I'll never forget. Haniyama has to. He's picking Haniyama up. What? How's he doing it? He's almost 400 pounds. Jesus. He's. Fucking years old. <laughs> is he fucking Roddy Coleman on crap? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Hercules. And Baki is just boxing this man. No, 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 no. Let me go back. Imagine a man this strong. Here's here's an arm. This guy does this. Squeeze, squeeze. Now imagine squeeze, just squeeze. his arm exploding. <laughs> Oh that is a strength <laughs> he has in his sucks for you. He wasn't tannin. phased. Yeah, I'm not gonna squeeze enough. his freaking wrist. I'm not Hanayama. I can't do that. Weak shit. <laughs> We're realism here. Or grabbing like, okay, think of a stack of cards. Do you think you could take a deck of cards 
and what your fucking thumb and fucking pointer finger just pull and tear it all at the same time. Right? I saw a dude or do that Christmas. in middle school. Yeah, with the yeah, yearbook. Yeah. yeah, he fucking took Jesus his finger you. and just tore it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do drugs. Rip the phone book. Like, I can't call the police now. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know the number. <laughs> but it's just they're, they're overly fucking strong and the Man. fights they get into are brutal. There's somebody called Jack Hama, which is Baki's brother, but he uh the way he got came around is Yujiro, like I said, is not a good person. Yujiro kind of raped somebody. And that's how that happened. Kind of he raped he raped this woman because she had the boss try to fight him, and he was like, I'm gonna beat your ass. And then he's like, uh. It's like this, a rapey version of Endeavor from My Hero. Where he's like, he's trying to create the perfect uh, fighter. Yeah, yeah. And he's... Yes. he No, no. Everyone is afraid of this man. Don't think he's good. Nobody likes you, Jero. But they can't. <laughs> but the biggest thing is, you can't beat him. Now, he made... There's a scene in there where the Japanese were basically making fun of George Bush, bro, because they had... <laughs> They Man, had you in a memo like this. <laughs> I love it. George Bush is driving this man around scared as fuck. Where do you want to go, Mr. Yujiro? <laughs> oh, just take me over here. It's George Bush. They don't say it's George Bush. It's George you know it's Bush, George. bro. He's and like, it's fucking funny me because once. <laughs> like, they have the whole American. They're like, why don't you send the army after him? He'll fucking kill them. And they show. He got shot in the head. And this is how ridiculous he gets. Someone shoots him in the head. He fucking moves his brain to dodge the bullet. His I'm not making it, I'm not boot physics again. I'm not fucking making this up. This so they never tried that shit again. Brain, dude. Like he fucking the bullet went in, and you just like ha. Boot. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> they shook his fucking brain so the bullet could go through the skull, come back, and then he kills everybody. What? The Can fuck? I just say blindly, like? Going into Baki, I did not realize this was this, Perkins. I thought <laughs> this whole time, like, this is one of those which I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to Berserk soon. But, oh, like, this dude. is one of those that is extremely popular. I've heard it everywhere. And I was just expecting, like, I don't know, like, level-based kung fu, like, some Naruto oh type God. stuff, you know? Like, man, I can't make it's it. It's like I'm an entire genre. Trying. Right off the rip, it's like gore, and it's like holy shit! This this doesn't stop; it gets worse. <laughs> yes, and they, yeah. they actually do have actual martial arts in there, and if you you can look them up, and you're like, whoa, this is crazy. But they fucking turn that knob all the way to fucking high and break that bitch off. <laughs> like, okay, so we were talking about how this is for people probably on steroids. Yeah. Jack Hama, mm -hmm. this guy took nothing but pills, steroids. He had a limb. Uh, extension thing done. It's a real procedure to get taller, except he did it to the fucking ultimate degree to be stupid tall, to fight Baki or whatever. Yeah. This man has a mouth so strong, he took a coconut ow, <laughs> just to show someone what he was going to do to him. Like and an then apple. he did bite him. He bit somebody to beat them so they would bleed the fuck out. Wish Perkins had a jaw so strong he could snap it shut. And then <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Bam. fair. Shut but one of the most iconic <laughs> things from Baki is the, uh, and I'm, I fall into using this too when it comes to back workouts, it's having the back, the ogre back. So mm. Yujiro, when he is done fighting, he'll stand like Jesus on a fucking swole cross and <laughs> just flex <laughs> his Jesus. back. And his back has a six pack going up. <laughs> his back. His back. I'm not what? fucking around. God damn. And you ever do back there, crunches? Eyes. Type in Yujiro back. It's the first image. I like to think about his Korean Jesus. And it looks like he has ogre, ogre eyes in his back. And people have tried to go for this back. Is it realistically possible? Fuck no. <laughs> but the whole basis behind it is because his back is so strong, that's what makes him the strongest fighter in the world because no one could actually grapple Achieve with him. something like that. And I don't know how... Like I, I just don't know where to go with this shit. There's some weird... Fighting that goes on because when they fight, they're really throwing hands, yeah. and it's fucking awesome. And they even explain shit halfway through. Um, who's the old guy that spit water in someone's eye, and it made him start choking? And they explained it like, yeah, if I spit water into your fucking eye duct and it gets stuck in your nasal, blah blah blah, you're gonna start feeling like you can't breathe. He shot water through his mouth, and this dude is fucking freaking out. Fucking, and he beat his ass. 
Like this shit, it's fucking wild how far they go with yeah. it. And it's kind of cool how they grow Baki because in the beginning he's already like a good street fighter, but he goes to a boxing gym and he thinks he's going to be the shit there and he gets his ass knocked out. It's that adolescent mind. It, yeah, like where it's that, like, oh, yeah. okay, well, I have to learn different fighting styles. He's not immediately just super overpowered. No, he got his ass beat. Mm-hmm. Then he got his ass beat out. again by daddy. No, daddy, no! <laughs> daddy was not <laughs> What a weird <laughs> fucking anime. Daddy issues. Just no. so the, the what's on Netflix isn't the same. It's like the like, second season. Like, Seconds. Okay, because okay. I was gonna watch what was on Netflix, and he's like, "No, you can't watch no, that. We gotta, gotta watch, watch YouTube, YouTube first. You have watching the YouTube. YouTube. I learned oh, there's okay, so okay, many okay. iterations of this, and holy shit, how long have they been doing it? Like since uh, in the '90s, if I'm yeah. not mistaken, yeah, is whenever old. Baki the Grappler started. Even, it's old, bro, <clears throat> and it's spawned other animes like King and Ashura. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Like King and very... Ashura is just another Baki, yeah. just like. Like brutal, over the top oh fighting God, with shit. really pretty animation. Yeah, like they fucking explain everything too. Like, but the big thing is uh, the tournament arcs that they have, and you get to see different. Like they had a, they take all Oliver. Oliver's this giant black freaking prisoner, and he's based off an actual fucking bodybuilder, and I can't think of his name. But they use characters from real life. And put them in there. They have Ollie uh, Jr. Ollie yeah. and Ollie's son in the mm-hmm. Baki uh, series. Ollie Jr. Well, you got you haven't watched it, so I ain't gonna say nothing. But they're in there, and you get to see those kind of fights. Yeah, and it's fucking dope. And it's because you also get to see Ollie old as fuck, and that's it's kind of sad because they follow suit to how Ollie is. Oh, I'm, not, was. I'm not gonna lie. I started with the Netflix one, which was adapted like in 2018, I think. Yeah. But that one was even like brutal itself. They just start off off the bat like Baki is making everyone sweat. It's like uh, oh yeah, like nobody can move and they're yeah. all shaking like, and why shit. Are we sweating. And then it's like all of these prisoners have broken out of prison to come fight you. And there's dude yeah. in a fucking submarine. I think it's his dad. He's in a submarine like <laughs> five hundred thousand feet below the surface, and oh, he that's breaks an inmate, out. And he's like, but yeah, dude, you don't oh, know. You don't know that I've been training to. Stay underwater and fight for five minutes without air. Like, what the they fuck do is going on? The, yeah. most, the most unrealistic shit, but they make it like times a million. It's it's crazy. You got to see these scenes because some of them, I was like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> this guy, he had, that's probably what you're going to be saying the whole time. A lot. But he had, uh, I can't think of the old man's name, uh, but. He had like a piece of hair. Yep, I and he you... flicked it at this oh, dude. Oh yeah, landed right here and like cut him open. <laughs> like, How the fuck does that happen? <laughs> he goes into that fucking like boxing gym or something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, bro, they do weird shit. Weird shit that doesn't make any sense, and you're not gonna question. It's Super like, gore. No, I'm gonna. Qu- I, I questioned it. all of it, but there's no answer for <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, you're not gonna <laughs> figure out answers. You're like, this is boxing. Some things you just go into like knowing that <laughs> if you know if it's gonna be weird and over the top, then you just. You just accept whatever they give you. Yeah. Man. Basically, if you haven't seen Baki, just go watch it. It's martial arts. They have it dubbed on YouTube right now. Yeah. Dubbed our stuff like all of it for free. It's kind of nice. It just flows together too. Because like, there was a the next one just picks up. No oh, one yeah. can figure out the, who had the rights. Oh. So they, that's why it's been on YouTube for so long because mm. all these studios are like, well, we want the rights. Well, you can't fucking have these rights because we want it. No one has the rights to that shit. Damn. Wow. To the original. Let's yeah. claim it right now. It's yeah, ours. We actually like, have the like, rights. We, we bought rights. <laughs> it's ours. But you can watch all of it. All I think, believe it's uh, 48 episodes for the original Baki, and then 48? the rest of it is on Netflix, and that is a sequel. And right. that was actually aired from 1991 to 1999. God. Oh, damn, bro. That's, that's it's been going on time. for a while. That's a long time for only 48 episodes. That's a slow fucking burn right there. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, yes, that's all I've got to say about <laughs> it. Watch it. There. It's lit. <laughs> Oh, good. He's, he's done. That's a yeah. good anime dump. Amazing. Yay. So, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure we left out a lot of kung fu. We're going to leave here and be like, we should have talked about X, Y, or Z, but that's what a part two can be for. Yeah. But yeah, I think that about does it for us here today. For. What was that? Oh, comment <laughs> section. Yeah, get in that comment section. Blast that shit there. up like you're doing some gun fu. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to limit Fabian's out. exposure time next Ray time. Ray. Oh. Hey, his mic is off. <laughs> yeah. We're going to take Fabian to Denny. Rocky Denny. Star. Right. Oh, Denny sounds all right. <laughs> <laughs> but please Denny's check us out now. on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Spotify, YouTube, iTunes. Apple, wherever you get any of your, your entertainment. Put We're Biden. there. Shut the fuck <laughs> <laughs> That about does it for us here today. Thank you for watching. I'm about to chop Perkins in the throat. Peace. Judy, chop. Yeah. Yeah.
Whatever she don't succeed.